Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make picadillo empanadas. As if picadillo couldn't get any better, we're gonna put it inside an empanada and fry it until it's golden brown and crunchy. <laughs> These empanadas are perfect for a party, for you know a little snack, or just to have because you deserve it. You deserve it. You know what? You deserve to poop. Let's dive right in and let's get started. Over medium high heat, we're gonna go ahead and start browning off our ground beef. You wanna use your spatula to break off any large pieces, and to that we're gonna add some onion and some carrots. I love adding carrots to picadillo because it adds a nice little bite of sweetness. I'm also gonna season with salt and pepper. Once the onions are fragrant, I'm gonna go ahead and add my red bell peppers and garlic. I'm gonna let that cook for a minute or two, give that a little stir, and then to that we're gonna add some tomato paste and also some oregano and ground cumin. We're also gonna add a couple tablespoons of tomato sauce and some chopped up green olives, which are optional, but I totally love them. And a few tablespoons of water, which is gonna help the carrots finish cooking. Of course, some salt and pepper. Once the carrots are tender, I'm gonna go ahead and add some potatoes that have pre-boiled and roughly mash them up with your fork. The potatoes act as a binder, so it makes for really good filling. For the dough, I'm gonna add some warm water to a bowl and a couple tablespoons of your favorite sazon seasoning with achiote, and that's gonna give it that flavor and color as well. We're also gonna add harina pan or pre-cooked cornmeal it's a lot lighter than flour and crisp up really, really nice when fried. Once all the water absorbs the flour, you're going to want to let it sit for about a minute or two. If you see any clumps, you just use your spatula and work them out. To make the empanadas, I have a Ziploc bag that I've cut the sides out of and I'm spraying this with a little bit of butter. I'm grabbing about a golf ball sized dough ball and I'm going to press it down with another cutting board so it's nice and even. We're going to add some of our filling, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, kind of eyeball it. You don't want to do it too much because it'll break. And then I'm going to fold over the other half and kind of use my hands to seal it. You can also use the side of a bowl to seal it as well. Now we're going to fry them at 360 degrees for about five to six minutes on each side until they're golden brown, just like that. And your empanadas are ready to eat. All right, let's get these a try. Mm. First thing I'm loving is the crunchiness of the dough. Well seasoned as well because we put that sazon in there. And the inside is so filling. The potatoes definitely bring everything together and I'm immediately smacked with a bomb of flavor from the oregano, from that cumin, from the tomato, the garlic, the onions, the peppers. Oh, oh, and then the best part was I got a little bite of that olive, so that brininess kind of cut through some of that tomato. This is a really great bite, guys. But if you really want to take it up a notch, put a little hot sauce on there. So, you know, some hot sauce in my bag. Swag. And there you guys have it, my empanadas de picadillo recipe. I hope you guys try these at home. They're delicious and are amazing. Oh, and bonus tip, That's right, so when you make them, you can make a whole bunch of them in one batch. Go ahead and freeze some of them for a rainy day, and all you have to do is just fry them and you're good to go. Thanks again for watching this recipe. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and if you make this at home, if you make this at home, you better tag me. I wanna see it. I wanna show you off to the world, let you know that you are a rock star because you made some empanada from scratch. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy. Uh, can we eat again?